822, and that is not your typical classical pianist. Natalia Posnova is joining us right now on the BT couch. Welcome to the show. I love your rock and roll leather Thank pants. You. I have to say, look at these two. Look at this. That's rock and roll. Welcome. Totally. Welcome Thank to the you. show. Natalia, we have to get into this because, you know, people think classical pianist. You think beautiful music, but it's not what we saw there and it's not what we see here. Tell us a little bit about the this sort of melding of two worlds. It's from your mom and your dad. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, before I was born, my father used to play in a rock and roll band. He played bass guitar. Uh -huh. And um, when I was born and as a child, I had the chance to listen to Queen and to Beatles and to other rock and roll bands on the tapes he mm -hmm. played for me. And my mother liked classical music. So she said, okay, you have to become a classical artist. But in the background, I always had a love to rock and roll. Yeah? So two years ago, I kind of uh, decided to do something else. And yeah, let's talk about that. First of all, I love that you're like a good, such a good daughter that you pleased both of them. But let's talk about, you were, you were telling me during the break that um, you had a moment where you realized that you were sick and tired of covering mm -hmm. you know, the great classical uh, musicians. I never thought about it, that a classical pianist is essentially covering the works of Mozart and Beethoven and all those people. I didn't know about that either. And all my life, I, have, I had a life for the typical classical pianist played concerts, competitions, and, but then it became kind of narrow. Not, it's, it's not enough space to express yourself like you could do when you do something, something yourself. Like, well, I, I never composed really my own music, mm -hmm. yeah? but uh, I think I could actually. And two years ago, I just woke up one morning and I had the feeling I cannot do this anymore, just play someone else's music note to note. Yeah. I had to add something from myself. What and you it? and you did add something. We have to talk about this. And you started covering, not covering because that's not the right word. You started rearranging yes. Queen's music. Yeah. You start. You said you took all these these amazing iconic Queen songs and you made them your own. Exactly, because I, I just don't uh, play the melody and with uh, some accompaniment. I made a new arrangement and new concert piece mm -hmm. from, from the song, so it could be played uh, in the big concert halls. So. And, you're, and you're getting quite the reaction, not just any reaction. Brian May of Queen is actually a fan. First of all, how does that feel? <laughs> what did he say? Take me to that moment. Unbelievable. It's a, it's an, a great honor for me and uh, it's a great feeling. I never expected that reaction. He got uh, my video, when he saw the video of mine, he posted, uh, uploaded on the website, on his blog. Yeah. And he has written that he never in his life ever seen or heard anything like this. I mean, it's Brian May writing that. It's amazing. I'm Natalia, that it changed is. my life in one moment. Of course, because it encourages you to want to want to do more. And Natalia, you're also you're getting ready for a Canadian tour where you're going to be looking at rearranging more songs, more music. Right. Uh, when when can we expect the tour to begin? Because I'm sure a mm -hmm. lot of a lot of rock fans are now just freaking out. Yeah. Well, Tell me when when this is all starting. I'm working now in, uh, on this tour, which will include um, will feature my arrangements mm -hmm. and. Uh, and will be accompanied by the orchestra, symphony orchestra and the band. So it's a quite a big thing and uh, it's a lot of work still in the making, but we're expecting first in Europe, yes. at the beginning of the next year, generally there are some, already some interest in some dates. And then uh, after that, it will be I think, uh, in direction North America. Yeah. She'll be heading back here, Natalia Pozova. Yes. Not your average classical pianist. Thank you so much for joining us. Come it's back. Been a pleasure. Come back when the, the tour makes its way back uh, to Canada. All right. All right. Stay tuned, you guys. So much more to come. You're watching Breakfast Television on City.